Well, I actually went to that heap of shite and what a fucking decision that was. Like, oh, terrific football to watch. The return of boredom for Manchester United. It lasted, what, three, four games where we played decent football, but now we resorted back to the usual pissy, passy, that's not even a word, but you know what I mean, like the shite passing that, you know, just goes side to side with no creativity and no end product. And to be honest... We fully deserve to get beat by Sunderland. No disrespect to Sunderland, but they're probably going to get relegated this year. I mean, they might not, but they, they, they are potentially a future championship team, and they've just completely embarrassed us. They outplayed us. Apart from the goal, we didn't really have any clear-cut chances. Um, maybe in the second half, you know, with Memphis, uh, we had half shots with Mata here and there. But on the grand scheme of things, it was just fucking pathetic and, yeah... I, I literally, I just don't understand why there hasn't been a change up to now, and um, oh, it, it just beggars belief, why would you play Carrick as a CDM alongside Schneidlin, like, Schneidlin's been poor recently, but I generally believe that's because he's used to doing it himself, or he's better when he's one CDM, when there's one CDM. I mean, why do we need to play them against teams like this? We just invite pressure onto us because the forward four are stranded. All right, Rooney didn't get into the game today. And how many times has that happened with our striker? Uh, like, whether it be Rooney or somewhere else, someone else. Martial, this game highlights so much, all right? We rely on... Our over-reliance on a 20-year-old is just baffling, all right? He scored, and it wasn't enough. And that highlights our season. We're literally relying on our youngsters. In particular, Martial. Other ones that have came through, like Brothwick Jackson, Shaw at the start of the season when he w wasn't injured. A lot of our youngsters have been terrific. And it's our veteran players that haven't... Or the players that, you know, are... Um, experience that are letting us down with the exceptions of David De Gea who made two wonderful saves again today it could have been more um, and also Smalling I mean he didn't have his best game today he made a couple of errors but still he's been very consistent this season and he was still fairly decent he was mopping up a lot of the chances but yeah Domian was good going forward he wasn't he was getting ran rings around him by Kazri though uh, defensively uh, he was causing us so many problems it, it, it was just Ludicrous. One thing I don't understand, all right, we play along the wing um, all the time, all right, to Lingard, to Martial, and we usually, you know, somehow get a half cross in that gets deflected by the first man, but I don't understand. Yedlin and Van Anholt were playing so far forward for Sunderland. There was so much space in behind and we couldn't exploit it. How? How can we not exploit it? It's literally baffling, all right? The system that we play, 4 2 3 1, is just like. We're too structured. We we aren't allowed to move, or uh, we see. I see we the players aren't allowed to to move. There's there's no overlapping really. I mean, occasionally we'll see overlapping fullbacks in Brothwick Jackson and Love when he came on. I mean, yeah, what a coincidence that is. Donald Love makes his Manchester United debut a day before Valentine's Day. You know, uh, but anyway, yeah, we lost and we deserve to. And now we we are not getting top four now. If it, if we weren't getting it before. We're certainly not now. Literally, uh, just can next season come? Can we just get Mourinho in? Like, uh, I, to be honest, do I want him in right now? I mean, probably not. To be honest, like, literally, I, I would prefer him to have a fresh start and just um, start next season. When we're, we're not getting top four, I, I'm sorry. Even if Mourinho came in, maybe he'd spark a change. But I think it would be better just for him to come in summer, you know, have that big name manager. Even if we don't have Champions League football to attract players, we've got a big name manager who's been very successful. People will want to come and play for him. We've obviously, we're the richest club in the world now. So, you know, it, it shouldn't be like this. But the, the, the fact is, unless we win Europa League, which with teams like Borussia Dortmund in it, and they're doing so well this season, I mean... Do we, we really don't have much of a chance on that. Like, it's, it's just... Oh, this season, man. Just end. Please, just end and bring Mourinho in. That's, that's literally just... Oh.